right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashami Awashai, Wahabra Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures, and salutations to Akim across the world, pushing his word and truth and his sincerity and with charity. And uh, it's just going to be a quick lesson. All right, I just did a full lesson. This happens all the time, man. Say this is, means it shows you we're getting towards the end, man. And Satan, you're not going, you're not going to be able, Esau. You're not going to stop this truth. I just did a, a 15 minute video. All right, and it was recorded. I tested it before I even did the lesson, but the lesson ended up having no sound, so it's all good through the spirit of poverty. How about from y'all shy? We're still gonna prophesy your downfall. All right, and it tell, and we're seeing it now. All right, we're seeing this man's downfall. Why? You go outside all times of the night. All right, what do you have? You have the, the sound of helicopters. You have checkpoints being set up. All right, why? Due to this um, this uprising and this insurrection. All right, and the, the word insurrection means a violent uprising. All right, against the government, and that's what that's what Esau's afraid of. All right, that's what he's afraid of ultimately. All right, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Al Shai. We have been given the spirit to prophesy your downfall, and we're not gonna hesitate to do it. All right, this is this is uh Second Ezra 15. All right, this is what's coming, man. This is why you have these uh these different types of uh insurrections and uprisings around the world, because it's all prophecy. All right, Second Ezra 15, 16, and 14. Second Ezra 15, 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. So this this is why Esau is scrambling. All right, this is why the people are bugging out because the destruction of the wicked is right around the corner, man. All right, like Apostle Ramlab did, a great humbling is coming, and we can see the effects of what Yahabashim Yahushai has put down. All right, as far as <laughs> what he wants to go down in the last days, the most Yahabashim Yahushai wants this place to be on fire when he returns, man, and we're seeing it begin, man. All right, like it says in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, the beginning of sorrows, we're seeing it, man. All right, so they have these checkpoints, and you're hearing helicopters, and we actually saw a Blackhawk at camp today. So we're seeing the beginning effects of the shutdown of America, Babylon, the Great, to implement the New World Order and the chip. All right, you have digital currency being pushed all right, out to more and more restaurants and businesses and stores, etc., so that what? They can get ready for and, and create and... And put together the B system, you know, right along with the 5G. It's all uh, culminated, all right, and ready to be pushed by this devil, all right. But you have insurrection of the people. The people are going to fight back against this, man. You have those different militias and uh, those different, uh, the different, um, the different trained, uh, I guess you could say trained pri uh, uh, U.S. citizens with lots of pride in themselves. You have this, man. Okay? You have this, and that's what is going to create insurrection, which is a violent uprising against the government officials or kings. It tells you that in 2nd Ezra, and that's, pro that's prophecy. Let's read it. 2nd Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. The modern day sword is the gun. So therefore, what? People are going to be out here killing each other with the gun. All right? With actual swords eventually when they run out of ammo, with hammers. It's going to be gruesome as uh, the Elder Malcolm of, of our camp, he likes to speak on. All right? Just the whole viciousness and grizzly times that we're coming into man like the brother Jeremiah says man all right it's gonna be like the wild wild west out here all right and that's why they have these they're setting up these checkpoints because you got a lot of looting all right they're starting to loot they're starting to uh put take matters into their own hands like according to the scriptures all right so what what you people are you people are really what we've been saying through the spirit and power about Shamel Shai is what's happening in the reality and people are starting to take notice to that man all right. But the Lord said his word shall not come back void. All right. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. 
and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. And that's what's taking place. You're seeing different checkpoints. All right. You're seeing different types of uh, blockades <laughs> with dump trucks and uh, military vehicles. All right. They're setting this place up, man, because you, you, this is going to be wild, man. The end of America, Babylon, the great, man. It's going to be wild, man. Wild, wild west out here. All right. Then the love of many is going to wax cold, man. All right, second as just 15, and I don't want this to be extremely long. This is just a, this is just shows you that what these scriptures have said and what the Lord has promised for the last days is in fact taking place. Okay, it's in fact taking place. Second as just 15, second as just 15 and 17. And 16, for there, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. This, Which means these people are going to take actions and things into their own hands, man. All right? It's all prophecy. Second Ezra 15 and 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. That's why we're seeing all these random uh, blockades. All right, and checkpoints set up out of nowhere, man. All downtown, all times of the night. They're getting ready, man. Second Ezra's 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. All right, so a lot of the food and storage, you're not going to be able to get the certain necessities that you need like normal anymore. You're going to be forced to go get the, the market of beasts to, so that you can get these things. Okay. So there's going to be a lack of food, all right, which we're seeing a shortage of, all right, in this current and present time, in this last, in the last days, just like the prophecy said. That's why the prophecies always spoke of a famine, okay, and pestilences. All right, Second Ezra 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity. Upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for a great tribulation. And that was what's going to take place, man. Yahweh Shai, Lord Yahweh Shai left us all these uh, tokens, man, to watch for, like it says in 2nd Ezra 9. This is how we measure the times diligently in itself. Okay, this is, second, this is Matthew 24. Let's read what our Lord said. Matthew 24 and 4. And Yahawashai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. <laughs> we're seeing it. We're see and we're seeing the earthquakes. And we're seeing the different storms. We're seeing the different pestilences. We've, we've, this year, we've seen uh, the plagues of Egypt, man. One of them. The locusts, man. Okay? We're getting closer and closer to Yahweh Shai's uh, entrance into this realm again. All right? Call all you how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Check, check, check. We've seen all of these things. Now we're understanding that Yahweh Bashem Shai is speaking. Okay, Yahweh Bashem Shai is, in fact, <laughs> making good on his word, man. And, and that means that we have a very great opp opportunity to receive our salvation soon, man. Okay, Lord willing, we all endure, and Lord willing, we're those men that we that's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. All right, Matthew 24 and 8. What are these the beginning of? All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and shall and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And it's gonna happen again, and it's been happening because they understand through the spirit that we have the truth. All right, and it's baffling them, man. And all these people are scrambling. All these people that didn't listen, now you're seeing what we've been saying is the truth. And it's happening right in front of your face. All right, and we're not trying to be a part of that judgment. 
that's planned that the Lord has planned for all these people that scoffed, that have came against the prophets, that have lied on the prophets. Okay? These things are taking place, man. All right, and we have to endure until the end, all right, to receive that glorious salvation from Yahweh Shai. Matthew 24 and 10, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall prize and shall deceive many. And because of iniquity shall abound, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's why you're going to have a lot of killing out here. You're going to have a lot more violence, insurrections, a lot of destruction. A lot of things have uh, the Lord is about to open up the doors and the gates of and release plagues, man. But our people are not listening, so therefore they're going to suffer and be a part and be casualties of Yahweh Shem Yashai's wrath. Matthew 24 and 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because of iniquity and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world which you're witnessing which we're all a part of all us brothers from the apostles and elders on down all right we're all a part of uh, pushing his word it says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world <laughs> for a witness unto all nations now they're witnessing it <laughs> and then what and then shall the end come and that's what we're experiencing man. and now the people are starting to realize uh Damn, the end is coming. Yep. All right. And if you haven't been taking heed to this word, all right, and are not taking heed at this moment, it's going to be a part, of, it's going to be a destruction written for all the evildoers of this time, man. And we're not a part, we're not trying to be a part of that. That's why we're serving the Lord. Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men to do the same, man. All right. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. It was just something quick. And to the point, call all Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Wahabra Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching and ruling on the scriptures. Citations to Akim across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom, Abad Babal.